everyone, Shane here with TechScan. And in this video, I want to talk about Arch and Quadrants. So first, let us let me show you how to set up the Arch and Quadrants. So we're going to go up to View and go down to where it says Arch and Quadrants. Click on that and you'll see that if I look in View, that part will be checked off. And so what you're going to see here is that the T-Scan actually adds a vertical line, which you see right here as well as the horizontal line, which you see right here. So let's say you want to set up the arch and quadrants to look at the teeth um, in the canines and forward and the teeth in the premolars and back. So I can actually move this uh, horizontal line forwards to try and maximize those contacts from canine to canine. So let's set it up right about there. And this is the only line that you can move. You can't move the vertical line, it's just the horizontal line. So what it shows you, um, just looking at the 2D view, what it shows you is you basically have, instead of just uh, left to right balance, you also have four percentages in here that show you um, posterior right, anterior right, uh, anterior left, and posterior left. So you see you the percentages will show up um, in each of these categories. Now, if you look at the graph view, you'll now see that you have, uh, instead of just the red and the green lines, which you see uh, kind of blended in down here, you have two more colors. You have the blue and an orange line. And just to kind of show you how easy it is to interpret those lines, the blue line correlates to the posterior right. The orange line correlates to the uh, posterior left. And then the green line um, anterior left and a red line anterior right. So you, you can use it to see uh, if you have any forces that are higher in specific areas. So for instance in here the blue lines higher than the orange line you should see the red and green lines be lower in this particular case in the multi-bite. But this means that there's more force on the posterior right than there is on the um, posterior left. Now this is more commonly used in the excursive movements. And what's cool about this is like, let's say you're going, let's say like in this case, we're doing a right lateral. You should see this red line uh, take over from the get go on here. But as you're watching this, you see the posterior uh, right uh, is actually going up in force when it should be going down in force. And you also see that the posterior left, this orange line hangs in play as well too. So it gives you a lot of information before we even look at the actual recording on what's going on um, just by looking at the graph. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let us know.